Hey, what's up? Let's go ahead and create a container component. So this is going to be responsible to be add some paddings to the content. So you see like here, we have this high contacts in every screen and this is stuck here and here. So if we go to our components, I'm going to create a new folder here called common. Now common, I'm going to have a, another folder here called container. So in container, I'm going to have a file called index.js. Okay, so this is going to be like the component we use in most of the screens so that it can add the common things we don't really need to add everywhere. So let's import React here and then we'll look at the other things. So I think I can do R R N F C. I believe like this. <laughs> okay. So now it's going to be called container. If you can't really get that kind of typing, you, you can just type it out. Now in here, one thing I want us to have is a scroll view. So that if we have content that's, that don't fit on the screen, a user can scroll like this. So we're going to wrap everything in a scroll view. Okay, so let's import it from React Native. Okay, so now that we have a scroll view, inside we are going to have an inner view. So this inner view, here, we're going to give it some styles. So style equals... I'm gonna have some styles, so styles dot I'm gonna call it wrapper. So let's create a styles file here. So import styles. So this is gonna be a style sheet file. So it's gonna be exporting a style sheet component. So you can do export default style sheet. So style sheet from React Native, then you want to call create. So in here you can define an object. So that object can be applied to your your component. So here, let's make sure we're importing style sheet. So what we want is define our objects. So the wrapper, we want it to have some padding on the right, on the top. So you can have padding, something like 20. Okay. Also, we have, remember we have the scroll view in here. So the scroll view, right now it's not showing because the content, we are not actually using this component yet. So let's import styles to here. Okay. So in here, now, this is gonna be a higher order component, meaning it's gonna be wrapping some other components or some other contents. So we want to get the contents. So in, in React, they're technically called children. Don't call them anything else. So those, we're gonna be now putting them here. So that means that these are gonna inherit everything that they are enclosed in. So if we come to, let's say the contacts, let's say in the screens, then contacts. So screens, contacts here. Now this can be the container. Container. Let's export it here. It's actually being exported. Let's make sure we're importing it here. Container. Okay. So when we save, Okay, so when you save, you notice that we have some space being left here and here. And you can always adjust these to meet your design specifications. It doesn't have to be 20. All right, so this is in a scroll view. So every time we use this, that means that we won't have to mind about scrolling. It will automatically scroll if the content goes outside the screen. So before we go, we might need a way to actually change this style. So let's say we need a screen where we don't need this padding. We need to provide a way for the user to pass it or us to pass it at that point in time. So here, make sure you pick style two. This would be like the user style. Then here, instead of us using only the wrapper, we can use this syntax here to also pass the style that the user sends. So meaning that if we come to the contacts, which is here, we can also pass style like this. So when we pass style, we can maybe override the padding. We can say maybe padding, we can say maybe 100. And you see, but we literally wouldn't want to do that. At least if we find use case, we know we can do it. But other than that, we don't need to pass it for now. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. In the next video, I'm going to come and we start building some nice looking input components.